Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this has been your True Nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join us here in home sweet home. I've never felt more at home than I do here. There's even another vampire. There's another vampire, so no one judges me for being a vampire with a slightly odd squiffy eye that only glows from certain angles, but not like the other one. It's kind of odd. And I think it's time to kill an empire has begun. We've been told to report in to Astrid. It's time to have a chat with her. Because yes, indeed, ooh, we've got ourselves an invitation and... Wait, did we take his clothes? I don't know if we've got a disguise or not. If we don't, hopefully she's got a disguise. It's time to go and sneak into the kitchens and murder ourselves an emperor. Hoo hoo hoo, yes, yes, yes. Hello there, Astrid. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Absolutely, but do we have a plan for me, like, getting out after I'm done? Because, to be perfectly honest, that's the bit I'm worried about. Like, you know, he's just a soft, squishy human. I could just go invisible and stab him in the back. How exactly do I plan to escape afterwards? Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honour. Oh my goodness, you want me to go and do it? What a surprise! Because, you know, the previous task, you wanted me to go and do it, and the task before that, you wanted me to go and do it. Has anyone else actually done anything since I've bothered arriving? Bloody hell. Yes, the Emperor... No, no, remain silent. Always just be a badass. Always be a badass rather than yelling. <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Okay, interesting. Ah, but do I need to pick poison? Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. That's not my destiny as listener. My destiny as listener is to, like, listen and hand over quests and you assign them. Like, I shouldn't be doing all the assassinations as well as listening. I should be here to listen if required, but alright, fine. Whatever. To be honest, ever since I, like, hid inside the coffin in the first place, I haven't done any listening whatsoever. I am the worst listener. Now, about this Jaren Root thing, because to be honest, I'm a bit concerned. Like, I don't want an immediate poison. I want a poison that's going to make him feel a bit queasy, and then he'll be, like, dead in, shall we say, ooh, I don't know, six hours, say. Guaranteed to kill in six hours, but I've got plenty of time to escape. If he dies immediately, then suspicion's going to fall on the chefs immediately. So... That's a problem, but all right. Anything else useful you can say? It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable. Cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death. So don't even think about it. I wasn't actually planning to eat the poison you just gave me, but actually, I wonder what happens if you do. Okay, now you've suggested it, I kind of want to see if I'm allowed to do that. And anything else, by the way? It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. Alright, so, she said, up a door across the bridge. But before we go, potentially, everyone else has interesting stuff to say too. So I'm just going to nip around everyone and see if anyone's got any, you know, actual practical advice for me here. Sure, you can poison the Emperor, but what then? Why not summon an Atronach to cause some chaos? Or turn invisible and slip away? Use your imagination. You know what? I like Festus. I think he's got a good idea there. Yeah, potentially. Create a distraction with an Atronach, or just use the invisibility to try and escape if at all possible. Okay, no one else has any particularly practical advice whatsoever. They're just basically repeating, Hey, you get the honour. I'm so envious that you get the honour to do this. So, nothing major. Just get in, poison the food, then up a door, cross the bridge, straight back out again. You gotta feel like there's gonna be a trick to it yet, though. It's the flipping Emperor himself, so... Potentially, might need to do some sneaking, yeah. But with invisibility, should hopefully be able to handle all that. 
Also, ten quid says that bloody horse is gonna try and follow me into the kitchens. Because <laughs> it never stops bloody following me. Okay, I've arrived in solitude and it is night. That works for me. Bit dark, hard to see what's going on. Now, Castle Dow, which one's bloody Castle Dow? I can't actually remember. So hopefully, it's somewhere around here. This does seem to be where I'm going. Aha! This looks good as a starting point. Lazy and useless, a lot of them. They can't even keep the Stormcloaks in line. No way I trust them with the Emperor's life. You worry too much. The Emperor's never been safer. You think assassination attempts are planned overnight? We discovered the plot. End of threat. I suppose. But what about the old man? Son killed, family name ruined, and he acts as if nothing even happened. Think he's even fit for duty? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Commander Morrow is the best the Penitus Oculatus has ever produced. You should be half the man he is. You misunderstand, it's just... I feel for him is all. To carry a weight like that... It's got to take its toll. That happened to me. I'd be a wreck. Okay. So, there's extra agents floating around in the form of the special guard, but, conveniently, they're a little bit off guard, because they think that, yeah, the plan has already been discovered, so therefore things are safer. Of course, that was a fake plan to try and throw off that guy. Marvellous. And, well, says report to that guy. Could I not... Oh, wait, hang on. That's the... It's the gargoyle. They put it back up. That feels a bit dangerous, but all right, whatever. Also, apparently this is a door to the Thalmor headquarters here. Um, is that a place I can just... Okay, I know I'm supposed to be doing that down there, but before I do do that, can't help but notice that there's flipping Thalmor headquarters around here. I kind of like to investigate those while I'm passing through. Right, in we go. Now, quickly, 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 quickly. Invisible. Okay. Now just invisible it up. And see what's going on here. Is anyone actually in here? Ah, wait, hang on. Better plan. Better flipping plan here. Okay, I've already got Aura Whisper set right. Back off to where we know it's safe and... Us. Yeah. Who's in here? Who's in here? Who's in here? No one's in here. It would appear to be 100% safe. I mean, I'm guessing I'm trespassing right now, but... Okay. In which case, what have we got? Right. Iron Dagger, not exactly that useful. Leave everything as I found it, damn it, and be invisible as much as possible, just in case. Thalmor headquarters inside this place itself. That feels like that's got to be important, right? That's got to be important. None of these books are significant. No actual Thalmor, though I guess technically the Thalmor don't actually have to live here permanently. The Thalmor just like, you know, if they are at Solitude, they would stay here. But they have their own. Well, they've got the embassy nearby, and ooh. This feels important. This is probably used for a quest at some point. But I'm not sure exactly uh, where or when. And I can't sleep. Well, yeah, okay, fine. I'm definitely trespassing. Stay invisible. And may as well just rob the Thalmor while I'm passing through. I'll have your gold, thank you. Alright, nothing major. Back outside in that case. Let's get on with killing the Emperor. Sorry, got a bit distracted there for a second. So, daggers and magic away. I'm just a chef. I'm just a chef. Though, actually, this here is my kitchen knife, and this here is the special spell I use to make everything delicious. There you go, that makes sense. Maybe that's not worth the risk, though. Right, Commander Maro, I've got a special letter and whatever. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. Oh no, I've got this writ of passage. What's this now? Order of His Eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. A gourmet. I... I'm sorry. I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. He really shouldn't be too surprised. Like, you know, I'm clearly a person of many talents. I'm the Dragonborn. I'm the head of the College of Majors. I'm effectively the leader of the Thieves Guild. Plenty of guards seem to just know I'm actually an assassin and be pretty cool with it. Because they just whisper about Sithis under their breath at me. So, you know what? Why wouldn't I also be excellent at cookery? Also, I've just dropped a save because I am now curious. If I actually eat this thing, do I immediately die? No. It just damages health. So, as a result of eating that, <laughs> I just completely screwed up the quest because now I'm out of Jaren Root. Also, how much damage did that just actually um do to me? Over to here. That did... Okay, hang on. I think I need to... There we go. Oh! 
Okay, it does. Fair enough, it actually does. Right, back here, let's not eat that, because fair enough, the game did actually properly program it to always kill you. You just have to, you know, wait for it to take effect. Good, good. Right, into the tower. So there's no reason for me to sneak or anything right now, because I'm allowed to basically just go where I want and do whatever I want, because I do have a writ of passage saying I'm allowed, like, total access to everything. So presumably I'm allowed to just sit on the throne if that's what I feel like. Oh yeah. Oh flipping yeah. That's right. King of flipping, no, not king, emperor, emperor of Skyrim, and also, like, all the rest of it, too. Don't really care about the rest of it, but emperor of, like, everything, I guess. And before we actually go and speak to her, we have to speak to... May as well explore the rest of the place, because I'm allowed in here. This was, like, the emperor's tower, which feels important. Actually, I've got... I've got access to his bed. I assume this is... Um, is this going to be his bed, or this be... This could be his bed. It feels, like, pretty fancy. Also, there's gold here. Oh, yeah. That's right. My writ of passage means I can just help myself to the Emperor's shoes. I feel like there's many ways I could kill this guy. Goblets here. Poison in the goblets. Poison in the shoes. Poison on the pillow. Exploding spell in the chest or whatever. We're going to rob the Emperor as well as actually killing him. It's going to be marvellous. Ah, but... Door up here. Ah! Up a door. This is what we will presumably... Told her also weapon enchantments. Wait, my enchanting's already 100. Doesn't matter. Even if I hadn't read that before, it wouldn't count anyway. Fine, so presumably I'm going to... Wait, where am I going to get the key from? I should already have the, the key for that. Maybe it just opens by itself when the assassination is done. Okay, so now I know where my escape is. She said up a door over the bridge. So this is going to be the door. Beyond here, there's presumably a bridge, I guess. So, we'll get to that when we get to that. I'm not sure where the meal's going to be served. There's no flipping table here, but I guess there is room for a, a table. Maybe this isn't like a banquet. This is just like, you know, the Emperor having a nice snack by himself with his advisors or something. Nothing too dramatic here. Okay. Next up, what have we got in here? Nothing too dramatic at all. I should probably be dressed like a chef, but I'm not. Ooh, what are we eating, by the way? Ooh, buggy bugs, carrots, apples, tomatoes, hawker... Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And a whole bunch of cheese and bread. Claire would be thrilled. Let's chat to you and see what's going on here exactly. Not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there then get out. Excuse me, I'm the flipping gourmet. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Yes, what? Well, I just never expected the gourmet to be a Breton. It almost seems too obvious. Some of the greatest cooks have been Bretons, and... Look, this blatantly just feels like it was the most obvious thing in the world. Just let me get on with cooking, and also, please leave me alone and unattended. I can only cook while in the nude, and I'm very self-conscious about it. Oh, well, uh, actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Sorry, I can't actually cook unless I'm wearing a chef's hat. Are you flipping? All right, fine, whatever. I'll get your stupid fresh hat. Where's the shelf? There we are. Chef's hat. <laughs> Apparently, I have to wear a chef's hat. Otherwise, I'm not allowed to chef. What does this thing even do? Because I'm giving up 75% magicka regeneration and 30% on the conjuration. Ah, I guess I can do without that. And 47 armor points, by the way. So this better be pretty flipping spectacular. And the answer is... It does literally nothing. Marvellous. I'm allowed to wear everything else at least. I've still got, yeah, I've still got all my other stuff. It just displaces my helmet. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not convinced. <laughs> I mean, it kind of does work. The colour matches the rest of my armour at least, so that's fine. Oh, just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Look, I'm the flipping gourmet. I feel like I should be allowed to cook in any conditions I'd like. But fine, I've got the stupid hat on. Let's get on with it. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Oh, flip. Um, okay. So I've got to make the dish that I don't know what it's actually about. Um, 
Okay, I saw carrots over there, so I know carrots are actually part of the dish, so let's say carrots. Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? What else have we actually seen? Um, now you must add a splash of mead. Vampire dust. Okay, we don't want the emperor to go invisible. That's going to make him harder to assassinate. Yeah, a splash of mead strikes me as sensible. Ah, of course. I suspected as much. All right, what next then? Okay, and then a giant's toe. Oh, what happens if you remain silent? I'm just kind of curious what happens if you do remain silent. Okay, uh, let me see. Thistle, yes, uh, let's try that. Just a sprig or two. All right, what next then? You know what? That strikes me as sensible. Diced hawker meat. There's hawker meat over there. That strikes me as sensible. Not a septem, because money's actually filthy and disgusting, so you definitely don't want to add that in. So, yeah, the hawker meat. Mmm, hawker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Yes, I've actually got this one special extra ingredient. So why don't you just add this in and then I'll leave and you can serve it and take the credit. Ah, okay, that might work. Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Look, I'm not going to take advice from anyone who mispronounces herb as herb for some weird reason. Look, just put the damn thing in. I'm the gourmet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. I should really be making my escape at this point. Like, that'd be important. This is going to go horribly wrong. Am I allowed to take off my hat now? But Okay, leave the hat on just for the time being, but... Ooh, there is gold in Septems and whatever here. That's nice. So I could have actually not put the special ingredient in. If I hadn't done that, I'd have had to have taken care of the Emperor another way, which... Arguably, might have been easier. I'm guessing the room has been populated now. No. No. Oh! Wait. That upper door, she's got the key for it. Because that's the dining room up there. Fine. That makes more sense. So, uh, when you get in here, I'm actually going to figure out where the actual upper door is. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Right, here we go. What's going on? And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one, now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as Emperor, I, of course, reserve the right of first taste. That's exactly the opposite of how Emperors work. Where's your bloody food taster? Oh, how marvellous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... Wait. Okay. Get ready here. Get flipping ready to throw down a Dramora Lord and also throw up invisibility. Okay, that's going to be the best bet we've got here. Because a distraction and invisible. I think something's wrong. I... Right, prepare, 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 and throw down in a minute. Um... Oh my God, the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor. Boom, them. go. Now this is, well, this isn't really an upper door, but I'm on a bridge. This will flip and do. Actually, screw it. Good opportunity, invisible. All right, good. This works, we're out. Also, apparently now it's day. That's weird. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Oh, I feel like a plot is happening, so my visibility doesn't count. That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. 
I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary's being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill her. And make sure there's nothing left to bury. The guy at the top just wandered off. Marvelous. Okay, um, I need I need some special reinforcements around here. Right, so we've got ourselves some reinforcements. I could just naff off, couldn't I? Or is there, is there invisible walls around here? Oh, I think there is as well. I think there's invisible walls on the side of this bridge. Right, let's get some stuff going on. Also, hang on. Probably need to actually take the chef's hat off at this point. Probably the ruse is kind of not working anymore. Let's put the helmet back on. That's probably for the better. So, yeah, you're not very good at killing me, are you? So we'll just basically... Oh, dear. Oh, flipping dear. Even with no charge, you're pretty screwed, aren't you? Oh, flipping dear. Right, okay. We'll take one gold off you. Marvellous. Anything worth taking? No. Now, where's the guy himself? Has he just run off? Naffed off completely? Probably has. We'll have the gold at least. Yeah, the three agents are here. And that was that was not the guy at the top because he doesn't have the torch. Where's the guy at the flipping top? Right, also, this was a very bad ambush. This was a terrible ambush, but for the time being, at least, yeah, we're all right. Now, what's next, then? Because someone in our own family betrayed... It's going to be Astrid. Yeah, it's got to be Astrid. Because she greeted me as listener during that last conversation, and she hates the listener because she hates all of that. This was a deal she presumably did to, what, try and get rid of Cicero and... The well, Cicero's already gone. Get rid of the Night Mother too. Just kind of... Actually, why did she do the deal? It doesn't make sense for her to do the deal. Who did do the deal then? Because... Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, Astrid definitely is the one who's been most unhappy with the recent state of affairs. But I'm not really sure why she'd have done that deal right now. Or more importantly, why she would possibly have believed that there's any reason why the Empire would actually do a deal involving the death of the Emperor. Uh, so, alright. We're past the ambush at least. Time to sneak out. Though, actually, hang on, I need to... Oh, can't wait while guards are pursuing me. Pursuing me, you say? Good luck with flipping that. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Do I actually get the chance to... I could actually pay off my bounty. Right. Okay, this is... This is interesting. Can I just literally pay off the bounty for killing the Emperor? <laughs> And they're willing to let me go, albeit if I give up my stolen stuff. Do I have anything good that's stolen? I don't think I've got anything good that's stolen on me. Everything I've got, I've been given all. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pay off the bounty for killing the Emperor and see if everyone's cool with it. Smart woman. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Please tell me this is actually a thing. I can just pay off murdering an Emperor. Oh my goodness, everyone's cool with me and I just murdered the Emperor. Seriously? Who did you have to kill to get that blade? Uh, actually, I reconstructed it um, for the god of carnage and change. It was marvellous. So, oh my goodness, everyone's actually genuinely fine with me. Mind yourself, oh, this is so actually so amazing. So <laughs> I've just bought my way into murdering the Emperor. Oh, that's amazing. And it was like 3% of all the money I'm carrying on me right now. That's so beautiful. I'm just going to check like I haven't lost anything like important, but I don't think any of my like crucial weapons were actually stolen. I've either been kind of crafting stuff myself or been kind of given it. So, yeah, nothing major. All of this looks about right, to be honest. Yeah, I think we're fine. <laughs> and I've not even got a bounty. Apparently, all is forgiven for murdering an emperor. There might have been some like some stolen... Various kind of uh, soul gems, I guess. I probably stole a few of them, but I still seem to have absolutely flipping plenty. So, okay. Marvellous. Right. Uh, so that guy also mentioned that right now the sanctuary was being torn apart. So I should probably, like, get over there. Probably for that, it's not really... Actually, I might be able to do some sneaky. Probably there's going to be guards everywhere. I'll try and assassinate them if I can. But to be honest, it feels more like the sort of scenario where, uh, yeah, it's going to be straight over. So you can't go down to the sewers, more's the pity. Yeah, more a scenario where potentially we're actually just going to have to be heading in with my great big dragonborn mace. But that's all fine. That's 100% fine. Right, well, let's be on our way to sort that out then. Ah, can't fast travel there. Presumably guards nearby. Uh, fine. The closest thing is the roadside ruin. So we'll start there, sneak in, see what we can do. Okay. 
invisible. It's dark. It's rainy. This is good assassin hunting weather to my mind. So, aha. Right, spot on. Uh, I see all of you right there. Or rather, I see you by yourself. These guys are just going to have to go down nice and quietly. So, yep, one agent here. And down he goes to a slit throat. So, number one goes down. No one seems to object massively to that, though. Search you nice and quickly. Nothing too dramatic here. Yep, fine. So, just, oh, back invisible. I think that's just the, I think it's just the horse that's detecting me right now. Let's just have a quick poke. And to kill an empire is dumb. Now, oh, who's down here? Okay, Death Incarnate. Okay, there's three of them. Assassination's going to be tricky. But I think this is probably the place for some illusion magic. A great big frenzy down to a cluster of three of them, then immediately back off. I think that's the way to handle this. Uh, where's the other one, by the way? Hang on. Uh, let's just back off a bit, then hit the, uh, yeah, the site. There we go. Ah, there's one, I think, on his own over here. Are you on your own? If you're on your own, that's marvellous. And, yep, one on his own. Ah, is that a bigger camp? No, those are horses. Those are horses, fine. So I can get you on your own right now. Spot on. And over to your left, that was just horses, not people. Yep, fine. No need to kill horses. Horses don't have allegiances. Or at least, I don't think they do. Now... With him dead, then it's just the two down here, because he was just doing circuits in this direction. Fine. Next up. Anyone going to go down nice and quiet? Uh, ooh! I think that's one of my friends dead on a tree there. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll stick with the fury plan for the time being in that case. Uh, so, over to Frenzy on the right hand. They're actually probably safest to go for double Frenzy. Because I've got... Actually, I do have Rage. I do have rage, but double charge will make it more powerful. So let's just quickly get one down over here and then put it right in the middle of them and boom. Okay. So they're going to run in this direction, but they'll change their mind as soon as they can't figure out what's going on. Lovely job done. And now just to make sure they never find me, back to invisible. They don't stand a flipping chance anymore. And then, oh, the horses are getting involved. Nice. The horses are genuinely um, actually taking sides here. Okay, fine. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe horses do have allegiances. And now, no, the horse is going for both of them. <laughs> the horse has just rebelled, damn it. The horse is no longer on the side of these bastards because that guy is now just hostile to literally everybody, <laughs> including a horse. So uh, until the spell wears off, actually, no, possibly now they're fighting. They're going to keep fighting. <laughs> okay, this is not what I was expecting, but this is fine. At this point, it's now that guy versus a horse. Just top up that invisibility. Now round here. I can just get around the back of him. He's now... Oh, he's kind of standing in an awkward place. But just one second, one second, one second. And boom. There we go. Don't worry, Bessie. I've saved you. I've absolutely saved you there. And down the torch goes. So, doorkeepers taken care of. We need to get in there and try and help anyone who's still alive. I'll take that. Nothing we haven't seen before. And we saw... Hang on, wasn't there someone who was... Who just got some... Oh, Festus! Oh, you're my favourite. I liked you. And you got really... Oh, blimey. He got shot really full of arrows. Like, so full of arrows. <laughs> blimey, heck. Okay. And then we've got... Ah. They're planning to burn the place, aren't they? Because there's oil everywhere. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting. They've probably already set it bloody on fire. Right. In we go. Hit the invisibility as soon as we're in. And oh, dear. Big fire bolt would be lovely. Yep, sure. What's it to be sure? We should maybe <coughs> resist them. I'm just gonna set that on fire. And I'm gonna set this on fire too for when they inevitably follow. Lovely. They're taking pretty bad damage from that. Now we can just finish these guys off nice and quickly. Put up a nice close wound. Yeah, I'd rather go for actually may as well just summon in a Dramora, why not? 
Uh, so, oh, boom, and then just finish you guys off and finish you guys off. Lovely, right. First two finished off there. Now, any chance we can... Can we wait now to get rid of you? Because <laughs> I need you out of the way so I can go invisible again and be proper sneaky-like. And also finish off these laddies. Very good indeed. Yeah, the armor's pretty good on these guys, which I suppose you should expect. The weapons are poor, though. Just basic steel stuff. So, back invisible again. And at this point, yeah. The fires have started. Explosions are everywhere. Is anyone actually left a uh, O-flip? Yeah. There's, there's quite a few fires going on here. They're just burning this place out full stop. Gotcha. Well, I may as well help myself to your golden torches. Uh, actually, no way. Hang on. Quickly. How many people have we got ahead of me down here? Not that many. And they look spread out to me. This'll do. This'll do very, very nicely indeed. So we got a few. Oh. Who are you fighting? Who are you flipping fighting? And can I even get to whoever it is? Um... Oh, it's Captain Werewolf in werewolf mode, which I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised by, really. Uh-oh, I think I just got the wrong guy. I think I got very much the wrong guy there. Uh, screw it, screw it. Oh, yeah, I actually hit the werewolf with my... Is he dead? Oh, I'm very sorry. I just got the wrong guy. Um, also, I'm just going to use this thing because it's got no charge on it. It's quite fast. It's got a 2% chance of just killing. I'm so sorry. Um, actually, if it turns out to not be Astrid, then that might work for me. Um, oops. Okay, um, how much leather does that give me? Would you mind if I just, like, you're already dead, so I don't feel like it really matters, to be honest. Yeah, I definitely got the wrong guy there. Um, okay, ooh, stop that, you. Right, Illusion's, uh, sneaking up here. Actually, I think he knows where I am, so we may as well just go for the 2% chance of murder, murder, murder. Murder. And he's got a torch out because he couldn't see what was going on either. <laughs> right, okay. What have we got left? Uh, vast. Yeah. Wait, who am I going for? Who even is that? Wait, what's my objective right now? Search for survivors. Oh, apparently someone's still alive. There was an extra person alive, but I kind of already killed them. So that's... that. I didn't like that guy anyway, to be perfectly honest. Right, quick close wounds in case there's more of them, but I think we're okay for the time being. Then probably best to actually go back to invisible just in case. But uh, this hasn't been that subtle, to be perfectly honest. Right, back to invisible here. Let's just go searching around. Oh, no. Oh, Babette. Not Babette. Oh, the spider. Not the spider. I liked, this. I liked Babette too. Apparently her name was Liz all along. I had no bloody clue. I'm not sure there was any way to actually see that. So, okay. Anyone still around down here? Oh, possibly they're still fighting. I should probably go and help out because you're probably fighting. Yeah, okay, this time, go for the right person. Okay, there we go. Kill Nazir's attacker. I'm doing it. I've stabbed him. Job done. Right, Nazir's all right. Okay, let's beat with Nazir. No. How about we don't do that? Who else is dead, by the way? Let's beat with Nazir. I will get to that in just a second. Are there any more survivors, or is everyone else, like, pretty... So you are alive. I was starting to wonder. Okay, Nazir has apparently got himself a little bit on the, uh, the impatient side. Fine, I'm guessing we have to go deeper yet. Hopefully, like, bear bit of... Oh, I'm kind of sad, because Festus is dead, and he was actually my favourite. Nazir I didn't really care about so much. He's already given me literally all the quests he can give me. But I'm guessing he's marked as essential, because he could give you quests if you haven't done them yet. So, never mind. Uh, yeah, the Emperor apparently was all a trap. Someone set us up. I'm guessing Astrid. Considering most of us are now dead, I, I assume as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <coughs> well, maybe I did. But you saved me my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <coughs> so, thanks. Okay, who's actually unaccounted for, and also, how are we planning to escape? Alive. Come on. Okay, escape the sanctuary. Fine, I feel like we're not doing this all subtle-like anymore. So I'm going to transfer this over to my left hand and go over to my currently uncharged dragon bone mace over on the right. And between the two of them, that should be plenty enough. What's left, by the way? Anyone else alive? Because there's you and... Oh, there's one other person here. Listen, I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. 
I will come embrace you in just a second. But first, I have to, like, help out with all of this business. Also, wait. Who just did that? Oh, possibly I was just standing in a fire. Right, just quickly heal up because things are a bit wrong. And yeah, she blatantly wants me to actually hide inside, like, her coffin. And I'll do it in a second. I just want to check for any other survivors before any of that, like, you know, happens. And I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not seeing anyone, unfortunately. I feel like everything's a bit on the, uh, the dead side right now. And any way out through this way? No, a bit more gold and what have you, but nothing to... Ooh, a special Amulet of Kinrith. Did not help you that much. Yeah. No way through that way either. Um, so, good luck with, like, everything, Nazir. Um, I'm gonna hide in here, like, by myself, and it's kind of, like, you know, for me. So, good luck with, like, the, um, the fire. just been put to sleep by the night mother waiting for the fires to i guess just burn themselves out hurry nazir i'm telling you he's in there yeah but bet survived going. as fast as i can you stupid she devil i don't see you helping i'm not exactly built for manual labor now come on you've almost got it one more pull. Yeah. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid. Here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Okay, talk to Astrid. Whoa, 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 slow down, it's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. Right, Babette's alive, that's good. She was one of my favorites. I'm sad about Festus, I don't really care about Gabriella, to be perfectly honest. And I think I was actually the guy who um killed Armbjorn, so that's actually a shame. Now, she's here in the sanctuary. I'm fine, the Night Mother's giving me another task. Yeah, let's go for that one, that seems more appropriate. Oh. Well, in that case, lead on. I'm right behind you. Are you being incredibly sarcastic or not? No, I think he's serious. Good, let's do this then. Also, where the bloody hell am I right now? Am I in the same room? Oh, right. This thing got moved down here or like blasted out by an explosion or something. Good, good. Right, bit of light for us here because actually for once, things are under control. Now, where's she? Where's she got herself to? And also, how much of the sanctuary is actually... Survived. Also, is the Night Mother herself okay? Yeah, the Night Mother's fine. Lovely. Night Mother's okay. Well, close up the coffin. Just some bloody respect to our, like, god or whatever. Um, okay. How much is still fine right now? How much is okay? Well, the word of power survived. That's nice. Can we make it through? No, that's given up. That's given up. Oh, what happened to Lizardy McLizardface? Is he dead? I didn't actually see a corpse, but this is normally the room he was in, so... Right, at this point, we can't even tell anymore. The corpses are just burnt corpses with uh, bone meal on them. Fine. So, basically, we're not going that way. I'm guessing a blast blew the coffin out through that window. Nowhere to go but... Ah, probably Astrid's room, then, I guess. Uh, what have we got over here? Ah! Secret room. She has a secret room. Well, she's an assassin. Okay, I shouldn't be that surprised. Uh, speak of which... Oh, blimey. Right. Oh, she's not dead. I thought that was just a burnt corpse she sacrificed. I'm guessing that's actually her, then. <coughs> alive. You're alive. Thanks for this. <coughs> right. Well, this is unpleasant. Was she trying to do the ritual on her flipping self or something? Or did someone do it to her? <coughs> What on alive. earth is all this? You're alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we know. We got that bit, Astrid. Shh. <coughs> Please. <clears throat> there is much I have to say. <clears throat> and not much time. 
I'm sorry. <clears throat> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. Mero. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Hope I said this. I was such a fool. All of this. It's all my fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. Yeah, that really was just a straight up stupid nonsensical move by you. Why would you trust Maro? Like, he knows you killed his son. And your next plan is to kill his boss. And he's got no chance of becoming emperor himself. He doesn't stand to gain by the death of the emperor. But he's got a lot to lose. And you've just killed his... Why would you trust him? Why? Bloody hell. Look, why on earth would you have done any of this? Uh, yes. I set you up. I wanted you dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. And everything I hold dear. And now... Mero has betrayed me. I just wanted things uh, to stay the way they were. <clears throat> before Cicero, before the Night Mother, before you. I thought I could save us. I was wrong, but you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over, rebuild. That's why I did uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. Okay, so what, you're sacrificing yourself in order to get the Night Mother to give us a mission to, to kill Mara? We could have just gone and killed Mara together. That would have been more... Okay, your actions don't make sense. But then equally, I suppose her actions aren't supposed to make sense. She's made it pretty clear. She kind of went mad from the fact that she hated the fact things were changing and she was losing control of her small remaining family. So I guess that's what happened here. But still, let's get your full completely stupid plan. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. Sorry, you did the Black Sacrament on yourself in order to pray for me to kill you. Ooh, Blade of Woe. Okay. What's this exactly? Right, so my existing dagger is 69 damage, and Blade of Woe is 53 and absorbs 10 points of health. Huh. Okay, well, I need to improve the damn thing so I can actually compare like for like. Do I have to? Actually, you know what? It's kind of fair. She wants me to kill her with the Blade of Woe. I guess I'll kill her with the Blade of Woe, to be honest. So, all right then. And wait, no, hide. Hide from her. Hide. Look, will everyone stop looking at me? I need to be fine. You know what? She probably doesn't have much health. She's already burnt pretty much to a crisp. Thank you. There we go. Now, I think the implication there was I'm actually now the flipping guild master, right? Astrid. By the sands, I still can't wrap my head around it. I'm not sure anyone can. It didn't make a huge amount of sense. Um, I'm the guild master. That normally comes with some, like, you know, special... Guildmaster armor or whatever. Where's my special Guildmaster armor? Or like, is that the... Actually, I've already got the ancient stuff. Like, is the Guildmaster armor better than the ancient stuff? Also, I need a new table. Because, like, right now, I, like, can't see how good this weapon actually flipping is. But anyway, let's go back to the Night Mother and have a chat with her. I think the table was destroyed, wasn't it? Because there was a table over here on the... On the left. Yep, that's totally covered up now. Fine, we'll have to take this thing back to White Run to fix it up a bit Astrid later. Oh, hello. It is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead II 
must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family together. Okay, are you sure he's gonna know? Because if he knew, then why wouldn't he have told me in the first place? Because as far as we know, he genuinely does want, like, the Emperor dead. So, alright, fine, we'll talk to Nazir first, as promised, and then, actually, we need to go to Warren anyway. Oh, that's perfect! I can fix up this blade, see if it's actually any good, and then after that, we can go and speak to that guy. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. No, 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 I'm the new leader of the family. Hand over the special secret guildmaster armor or whatever, and then we'll work from there. What? Well, what did she say? I'm the new cocking king, all right? Armand Motier? But that would mean... Oh yeah, the contract's still on. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family... No, 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 the family lives on. We're the new family. I know there's only three of us, but we'll, like, recruit more. It'll be fine. Hmm. <laughs> All right, then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking. The Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen. When you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Alright, job flipping done there. Right, so they're moving over to Dawnstar. That's flipping beautiful. So, over to Whiterun for me, I guess. Oh, I probably should have told him that um, that whole me killing Cicero thing, I didn't actually kill Cicero. So, oh, wait, hang on. Where's Shadow Mare? Oh my goodness, they also killed Shadow Mare. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Now Shadow Mare won't be getting in the bloody way every single bloody time. Though actually, if this is now basically the last time I'm going to be coming back here, there's actually one more thing I want to check out first in that case. Because there's been this, yeah, this little cave... It's been annoying me all this time, just down to the the south, but presumably up a bit, because I can't, yeah, I can't pass that, so I'm going to need to go up into the hills. Yeah, I've just had this cave on my map for bloody ages. I just want to quickly go and check that out, because I don't think I'm really going to be coming back into this area for a while. So I just want to zoom around here and see what this place actually flipping is, because someone put it on my map at some point, but I can't figure out what quest it's associated with. So hang on. We're just many a true nerding quickly, because I want to figure out what this place is. Because it's not just a cave, it was being marked as like a cairn. So, that strikes me as like, important, for like, some reason, I don't know. Right, whatever this place is, we're almost there. Ooh, apparently it's, it's down from me. Oh, hang on, hang on, I'm, I'm stuck on a thing. Right, round here, round here. Yep, yeah, here we go. Holdier's Cairn. So, a cave, but with a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, what's going on here then? So through here, have a quick check what's actually around in this part of the world. And is... Fair few guys, actually. Okay, something's going on here. Feels like we might be able to sneak upon at least some of them. Oh, hello. What the flip is this? There's something very special going on here. Right, vampire sight, invisibility, and the special razor weapon. What the hell is this thing? Can I walk into it? can walk into it, but various people have managed to end up dead. Okay, and we've got, ooh, answers, key to a crypt, journal, what the heck's going on here? People got sick, went mute, some form of magical thing started influencing them. Okay, someone's speaking to my mind, old, powerful. Hold dear, that's the name. He wants something from us, needs us to stay for the magic to work. It feels like they just got themselves sacrificed on this weird thing. Whatever this is exactly. Okay, right. Iron door, I've got the key. 
Let's start figuring out what's going on here exactly. Okay. Well, not much going on so far. It's all pretty linear for the time being. I don't really know why I'm coming here. Uh, but any chances there an underwater passage here or something? If there is, I can't see it. The water seems too shallow for that. Leave that for the time being. Keep the invisible... Oh, hello! Ghosts. What's this? Are these actual... Yeah, these are actual ghosts. Right, okay. And apparently, you can't see me very well. That works for me. I guess we'll just kill the ghosts. Because you're incredibly not perceptive. Right, on we go. Ooh. What is all of this? Oh, hello! Sorry, didn't see you there. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to be speaking to these ghosts, but... I guess we'll just kill them instead. Because they're incredibly not perceptive. Marvellous. Right, moving on. What have we got going on here? I'll take some soul gems very gladly. Keep the vampire sight on so we can see what's what. And they seem to spawn out of things like crypts. Ooh. Does someone live among us? Someone does indeed live among the dead, but fortunately you seem to be completely incapable of detecting them, so this all works for flipping me. The glimmer of life is gone. The glimmer of life is not gone, also are you totally awake? You're totally awake, that's fine. We'll just finish you off nice and quick. You're on your throne over here, so that's all fine I too. Will return. I will return. You already returned once. I finished you off, mate. This isn't going well for you. Right, okay. What else have we got? We've got... Ah! You are going to be my priority. Take you up nice and quick. And then just go for you as well. And everything is under control. Now, would you be held here by any chance? No, you were just a white. Alright, we'll just quickly check what you've got on you. But for the most part, everything seems to be under control here. And we've got... Uh, no, you can be searched, so you're already dead. Fine. One lever, on we go. Okay, I'm glad we came here. There's something pretty cool going on in this part of the world at least. Switches, but potentially going to open and close various options. Let's just make sure we've killed everyone who needs to be... Aha. Okay. It's an eagle there. What does that mean? Oh, just finish you off nice and quick. Sorry. Another eagle right there. Okay. So there's all these guys. There's actually there's only three. There's one here, one here, and one here. But what do they need to go? And I've already got the Oh, I thought I already had the key. Apparently a different key now. Nothing major, just a few bits of generic loot back there. Oh. Couple of ghosts though. Couple of ghosts to be finished off. So number one. And Oh, my sneak just hit a hundred. Nice! Didn't realise I was so close to that. Very, very good indeed. Right, back onto this. Now, question is, what's going to be when I turn this? Yep, that spits that. So, okay. How do I know what that's supposed to be? Ah! Right, there's a thing up there. So that is supposed to be matching that. So presumably they'll be matching ones. Yep, that one matches snake. And this one matches up here. That one matches whale. And that should do the job. Uh, okay, so try that again, but then just step aside so you don't get the darts just in case. Nope, everything's fine. Back invisible, on we go. Good, making some good progress here. Very good progress indeed. Anything down this way, or is this uh No, that's nothing major, not even sure why that's there. Right, let's just keep on cracking on in that case. Oh, we got more. Let's just finish off the ghosts. And the ghosts are really bad at detecting you. The ghosts are awful at detecting you. In fact, actually, because they're incorporeal, they seem to be incapable of detecting you even if they run into you. <laughs> even though they are kind of corporeal, because they do kind of shuffle you around. But screw it. This just all works beautifully as far as I'm concerned. Now, that way looks like the real way to go. Actually, no. Up feels like the real way to go. Right, yeah, okay, fine. So there's a tripwire this way. That's blatantly going to be something of use. Activate that, then back off. There we go. That's now been reset. So what have we got back here? Ooh, a grand soul gem. 
Ebony Warhammer, not bad. Ultimate healing, I'll take all of this. And also, apparently that chest was trapped, but not well trapped, because I actually opened it, but didn't even get hit by the trap. So that all works. You know, because this was on my map, and it feels pretty big, and it feels like there's going to be... That's just a hole in the universe. Uh, it feels like there's going to be... Oh, yeah. Something big and important at the end here. I feel like once I've killed this guy, it's going to say, Now take Haldir's crown back to Flibbity Flob. And I'm not going to remember who Flibbity Flob is. Not in the slightest. Right. Okay. Now what's all this? And how do I... No. Invisible. Definitely invisible. We're going to want to sneak up on this person. Let's assassinate them. You're going to be the ghost of Haldir then. Yeah? That who you are? There we go. Job done. Job done. Yes. No. How dear dead. I mean, is the... Well, if the room did briefly lock, it's open now. Now, the question then is, did he just leave a corpse? Yes, he did leave a corpse. Some slightly weirdly stacked ashes. Because they're flat. Um, Haldir's staff. Okay, calms less powerful opponents. I'll take it to sell, but... Is it going to be like... And now you need to, like, you know... Give that to so-and-so. No? No, it's not. Fine. I might want to go down there. That might be where I already came from. I'm not sure. Uh, but I might want to go down there. So, Haldir. What was your business? Precisely. Because it feels like I've done your job now. And then we've got... That's just a ruined book. Okay. Throne. Chest. Maybe a... Ooh. Aha! The drum. I now remember why I was going here. I was getting a drum for a guy in the, um, in the Bard's College. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Give your drum to Gerald. I would not have remembered who Gerald was, but I'm pretty sure I was at one point sent to get a drum and give it to a bloke in the Bard's College. So now I know what that's about. Also, that's actually not bad. Elven Sword of the Blaze with 25 points. That's actually pretty good, all things considered. I mean, I can make better, but for something I could have found had I not been enchanting, that would be decent. Also worth noting that was in a chest, uh, not actually on him. So I could have actually snuck in, grabbed that and snuck back out again without ever actually fighting the guy, which would have been quite cool as well. I don't see a Skyrim door, so I'm going to assume that actually I'm a bit disappointed I haven't got a word of power out of this. Actually, am I 100% sure there's not a, a second door out of here? No, doesn't seem to be. Well, in that case, uh, just drop to here, drop to here, drop to here, drop to... Aha! Drop down to the front room. Fine. That's why that room was all flippity. Uh, because of that. Okay. Well, I guess we're just on our way then. That's nice. Next time I'm passing through solitude, remember to hand over like a, a drum to a guy in the college, I guess. I've just realized I should process that more highly, by the way, and I've returned straight to solitude. Because I just remembered that sometimes the actual quests uh, for the Bard's College, like, they give you, like, like an extra point in, like, literally everything. Like, one person I helped out gave me a point in all my magic, and one person I helped out gave me a point in all my either sneaky or warriory. I can't remember. But this guy might give me a ton of actual, like, skill points. So I'm going to give this straight over to him just in case that's what this is. So I'm kind of hopeful. Hello there, I've got a drum for you. My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing, history, and the finer points of court life. That's great. Here's a drum. Teach me stuff. At last. I have searched for this drum for 20 years. The college treasury is a bit thin right now. But I can show you some tricks I learned from my days with the army. Oh yes, I was right. Right, so basically all my skills are going up. Admittedly, they've all been useless so far. Uh, yep, that's still all useless. Sooner or later, we'll get to a useful one. Smithing's alright, I guess. That was it, because my one hand is already at 100. Right, okay, that was pretty useless, but it does at least get me, like, a third of a level, I suppose. So, that's yeah, suppose nice. That's it's better than a kick in the teeth, I suppose. I'm not sure whether enchanting would have been included in that, because, yeah, enchanting is technically in the red rather than the blue, but enchanting was already 100, uh, and one-handed was 100. So it wasn't quite as good as it might have been otherwise, but never mind, eh? But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think we shall leave things off there. That is more than enough for now. Next time, we will head over to Whiterun. I will do up the Blade of Woe, see if it's actually worth switching over to, because... Uh, 
Clearly, it's a really good dagger, but I've also got a really good other dagger from another special quest with an amazing dagger. And I feel like potentially the dagger from the God of Change and Destruction might just be slightly flipping better than... What's sunlight? It's the middle of the night. What? What sunlight? What are you talking about? There's... All right, fine, whatever game, you do you. Um, yeah, if possibly, the Blade of Worm might actually be inferior to the dagger I've already got. We'll have to see about that, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> Oh, he likes that! <laughs> the Romans touched me! <laughs>